So just before this video actually starts, I'm going to quickly go over my new affiliate sponsorship with Fiverr. If you haven't heard of Fiverr, Fiverr is essentially a place where you can pay to get different services. A lot of YouTubers that go on it just go on to have a little bit of a laugh, but if you do want some serious services, like maybe you've got a Twitch account and you want to get some sort of overlay designed, or you've got a YouTube channel and you want to get the art designed, you can go on there and get the different services done. There's hundreds of different things to look at, so if you would like to have a look, click the link down in the description below, and if you do get anything through Fiverr, it would help me massively and I would appreciate it loads. So yeah, if you want to check it out, link's down there. What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you my favourite hotkeys that I use, my favourite keyboard shortcuts basically, which I use on the regular. So I've been using Vegas Pro now since either 2014 or 2015, one of the two, um, but that's like 4 or 5 years now. And in that time I have learned quite a few little sneaky tricks, uh, keyboard shortcuts just to speed up the editing process and I want to show them to you now. Uh, the earlier you get these keyboard shortcuts down, the quicker your editing process is going to become. Now, it may take a little while to adjust to them and actually remember which keys are which, but once you actually get them in your muscle memory, it becomes, like, second nature. You just click the buttons without even realising, and it's, it's a lot quicker than actually moving the mouse or doing it manually on the screen. Now, just before I start, I'm actually going to go into the media generators here, and I'm going to add a few solid colours, just so I can have some stuff on the timeline that I can demonstrate these shortcuts. So I've just placed some colours on the timeline here, as you can see. Um, that was special if we play this, it's literally just going to be the colours in the scene, and then we've got some other colours. Pretty colours. I like colours. Um, but... The, the tips I'm going to show you are actually going to be in order of the ones I use the most. So number five, the one I'll start with, is the one I use the least. And then number one will be the one I use the most, or I think I use. So at number five, I have the W key. Now, the W key is used so you can pretty much send your cursor back to the beginning of the timeline, no matter where you're at. It's very quick. Instead of having to use the little scroller down at the bottom here, or just manually go through it or zoom out or whatever, if you press W... It'll take you straight back to the beginning, and then if you want to view the entire project, you can view it from there. Um, this is, is number five because I don't use it as much. It's it's usually towards the end of the project when I want to just look over the video and make sure it's good before I do the final render. Hit W, and then can play from there. So that's a fun little one, uh, which may just help you in the end. Save a couple seconds. Hope that one helps. The next tool I use, I don't actually use as much as I used to, but I did used to use it a lot. The reason why I don't use it as much now, you will understand, because there's a tool I'm going to show you a little later on, which actually I find a bit more useful. But I'm going to include this anyway, because it is still useful, and this is the G key. Essentially, the G key allows you to group videos so you can move them together. So if you hold control on your keyboard and you click on some different items in your video timeline, and um, this can be audio or actual video clips, and then you press the G key on your keyboard, they'll now be grouped and you can move them together. Now one of the benefits to using the G key as opposed to the one I'm going to show you in a little bit, which is a little bit different, is the fact that if you do unselect them and go and do something else, when you come back to them, they'll still be grouped. So yeah, that is how you group stuff together. That's how you group tracks together. If you do want to ungroup them, if you right click, go into group and then just click remove from. And then that'll actually remove it from the group. That'll only do it for that one. So you can see the other ones are actually still grouped together. Um, so you will have to do it for each. Or you can right click, group, and then choose clear. And then that should ensure that they all ungrouped at this point. Now the next tool is one I use very, very often. It's very quick to bulk edit, you could say, um, and that's the D key. If you press the D key once, you'll see you'll get this little different logo next to the mouse. Now you're actually going to press it again, so you're going to press D twice in total, and then you're going to get this selection tool. Now this allows you to select a bunch of stuff on screen and then move that around, and then if you click off, they're not going to actually stay grouped together. Like I said, this is the one I use more because often when I want to group stuff, it's just because I want to move them all as one very quickly, and then I'm not bothered about moving them all as one again. So yeah, this tool is very useful. Um, I find the best way to use it is get in the habit of double tapping D and then using it. You'll see if you tap D again, Again, you'll actually get this little magnifying glass logo and if you drag that out you'll then be able to magnify to whichever region you select so if I put the selection around the black here it'll zoom into the black now if you press D one more time you'll get back to the mouse so the best way like I said I found of doing this is like I said the best way I use this tool is by double tapping D 
then I can quickly drag, move something, double tap D again, and then we're back out to the normal mouse. This is one that drastically helps my editing speed. If I did not have this tool, then it would be a lot slower, and my videos would probably take a lot longer to make. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend learning this one. If you're not going to learn any others, remember, double D, select double D. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now the next one is one I use a lot more, which I can imagine most of you will be using as well, um, and that's the split tool. So if you press S on your keyboard when you've got a track selected, um, or clip selected, or audio selected, such as this block here, and you press S on the keyboard, you can see it splits it then into two different clips. You may have seen me use this quite a lot in other tutorials I've done, but so yeah, well, if I click on there, split, click on there, split. If you have a lot of stacked tracks here, or stacked clips, you can still split them individually like that, or if you click in a blank region, it'll split all of the clips in line with the line, so you can see when I've clicked on the blank there and split, it split all of these, um, and then if I do it there, it'll split all of them, but if I select just the green and then split, it'll just split that. Now, you can already probably see how this is going to drastically improve the speed of editing because if I wanted to let's say cut out a middle section here I could go split split oh let's say I want to leave that bit in split double tap D and then I can remove this section very very quickly which of course is a lot faster than manually going through and right clicking each of them split right click each split and that would be way slower so if you learn this method it is very very useful you can see when you use them in conjunction with each other it does help a lot Um, so you can do a lot of different edits a lot of quick things and just speed up the whole process to where you couldn't before and my final shortcut is possibly my favorite shortcut i was actually going to miss it out at first when i was planning this video because i'm so used to pressing it i didn't think of it as a shortcut but it's the space bar so some of you may know some of you may not know that if you press the space bar it will play the video um this is of course very useful when you're doing edits because it means you can quickly edit some it click play have a look. Didn't work? Okay, go, cool. play. Uh, change some it? Okay, play. Change some it? Play. And you can very quickly just see how your editing's going, see what changes you've made and adjust them um, without actually having to maybe do the edit really slowly. Right click. Oh, we're going to split this clip. I don't even know what split is. It's there. And then we'd have to go up here and then click play. And then if it's not right, we'd have to stop it and then click on there. But with this, it's just split, play. Okay, change it. So it's a lot quicker, a lot more versatile. I would highly recommend using that as well. Right, guys, now I'm going to throw in some bonus shortcuts. The reason these are going to be bonus shortcuts is because most software uses these shortcuts. So if you are used to spending time on a computer, you'll probably know these already. Um, if you don't, you're going to learn something new here. So first, I'm going to show you how to copy something. If you click on something and click Control c you'll copy it and then to paste it, click somewhere else where you want it pasted and then click Control v and then it'll come up with this you can create a reference and basically if you create a reference anything you do to the first one will occur on the second one if you create a new copy it's just going to create the exact same copy but it's not going to change if you decide to edit the first one so i've just made a bit of text here and if i Control c on this Control v over here and then create a reference this is a good way to show an example of it and um, you can see that the both say hello, and then if I edit the first one, for example, to just hell, mwahaha, and then look at the second one, it'll say hell as well. But if I was to copy it using Control Z one, using Control C once again, and then doing Control V once again, and then choose create a new copy of the source media, and then change the first one to just he you can see that the first one's changed second one's changed as expected but the third one will stay how it was when you first copied it so just keep that in mind if you do notice stuff is changing when you didn't expect it to um just bear that in mind you may have done that after copying and the last two uh also go in conjunction with each other are the undo button Control z so if you press that and spam it a few times you'll notice it just kind of undoes the stuff i've already done and if you want to return it if you've gone a bit too far back press Control y and it'll just redo all of that for you so you don't have to worry if you've gone a bit too far back so just bear that in mind that if you do undo stuff and then change something you won't be able to redo to what you had originally um but yeah that's it there there's my five top shortcut keys board yep 
<laughs> and a few bonus shortcuts there. So I hope you find these helpful. I think this is probably going to be a really helpful video. It's a lot more general instead of specific. And I have to admit, these are probably the most helpful tools I have ever learned in all the time of me editing. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you'd enjoy. I hope it helped. And if you would like to see any more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. I'm posting two videos a week wednesday and sunday at 3 30 p.m if you would like to support me and like this video that would be much appreciated as well but that's gonna be it guys so i'll see you in the next video of whatever i make Bye bye